it's raining guys i'm gonna like take a video somewhere inside this mall but i'll teach you guys how to glow up like this in a second hi never mind today we're gonna be talking about how i grew up um i don't know what to tell you guys but it's been a while since i've wanted to drop this um, everybody is like really shook on how I, you know, turn into a beautiful butterfly. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm a little sick. I want you guys to know me first before we get into the video. So, I'm 22 years old. I just turned 22 years old back in February. Um, I've been doing this YouTube maybe for last year, but I haven't been consistent. But I want to try to be consistent. I've been on this journey for like three to four years now. Um, I can't say that I can't help you guys to speed up the process only because it took me a while for me to get on point on how to like lose weight or like how to glow up, if you know what I mean. I've been on this journey for about four years. Um, I've been on and off, but now I think I've really got it and I want to share it with you guys. For anybody who's going to school, going back to school for college, you want to look a little snatch for college, you want to look a little like a baddie for college, or for middle school, high school, whatever, whoever's watching my video, it's like for anybody at this point. But like, I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm targeting the middle schoolers only because you guys still have a lot of growing to do. Like, I'm not gonna go lie. So like, there's still a lot of learning, but if you're in the right mindset and you wanna glow up now for middle schoolers, this could be for you too, it doesn't matter, any age. But I don't wanna pin it for you guys because you guys still growing you know what I mean but um yeah but I'll say like getting to know me I'll add some pictures of how I was looking before um I've struggled with how I looked I had no hair in my head um I had really bad acne really bad I want to say acne I had like a skin picking problem I would always like pick out my pimples dark spots on my face and it was just like really bad um and i was overweight honestly guys tmi but i used to smell like i never used to take care of myself at all like my hair was short i just pick up my skin like i was just like bad like i didn't know how to like take care of myself at this point like my hygiene was bad everything was just like bad um then I don't know what made me decide that I wanted to change. My mentality was like really bad. I was I was very shy growing up. I never used to speak at all. Um, even now, like now I still have like, you know, bad social anxiety, but like my mentality was like bad as I was growing older. But we would get into that as I get into the tips. But yeah, growing up I was just bad, like I didn't know nothing at all like my diet like even like i wouldn't say that my mom would try my, her best to get me to go exercise and I have to really give it to her for that like growing up like she would just like get up come walk with me get up come jog with me you know i'm just like i used to be upset at her i used to be like, oh, like why is she doing this to me but now i thank my mom for that because i want to be where i am right now so yeah, I guess we can start with the video. Um, I did write some down on my phone though, so I, I did take a little bit of notes. So we can start there. Tip one, I say we're gonna go off by mentality first, because first things first is like you have to change mentality first before you can actually change. And we can do this within a month, because like mostly I feel like most people start school in September, ending of August, I'm not sure, but in New York City we start in September, so I'm just trying to, and I think in out of state, we start in the middle of August, but okay, whatever. All right, so tip one, mentality. Let's start with the mentality first. So I say cut off your friends. Um, I'm not saying that like cut off your friends completely, but cut off the ones that don't, that won't, I can't explain it, but, oh, somebody just bit me in my leg cut off your friends like cut off the the negative friends like the, the friends that always love gossip the ones that oh i want bad bitches around me or if you're not like this 
you can't hang out with me. You know, like, you know what I mean? Like, those type of friends. Or, like, the friends that always party a lot, like, every week. Like, I would say, cut these friends off. Because, like, once you start, like, getting on your shit, those are, those be the same ones that try, will try to discourage you. And then, like, most 99% of the time that you would be like, okay, I'll stop doing it because now I look like a loser. Like, they would try to make you feel like a loser or, like, you look ugly or, like, there's just something. Like, it's always, you know what I mean? So I say cut off your friends, cut off those type of friends. Like see if you can try to find friends that would honestly go to the gym with you, you know, be ambitious with you, or maybe not even go to the gym with you. Maybe they're just, maybe harder than studies. Like get the nerdy friends, get the nerdy friends, get the loser friends. If you're in high school, get the loser friends because those are the ones are definitely the ones would actually, I would say they're, they're the ones who actually could be up in life actually. Like I'm telling you, I was the, the loser in high school. High school, middle school, I was a quiet kid in the back, I hang out with the nerds, and now look at me now. Now the ones that are just, that was partying, and you know, bad bitches around me, those are the ones that are still peaked at like high school, like peaking at high school. Like they still peaked at high school, so like, they do shit with their life. Just saying, like it's better to be alone than to be with these fucking weird ass bitches. So let's start then. Alright, part two. Do what makes you happy. Tip two, do what makes you happy. Start with like not listening to negative music. Like growing up, I used to listen to like, no offense, like these rappers are really good, but I will say like the nowadays music, like you know, like Sexy Red or like Ice Spice or like, you know, like um, maybe if you're from New York, like I would say like drill music, you know, like Be Love. And I'm not saying that like they're really good, like they're really, I still listen to them. I really still listen to them, but I feel like I'm more trying to target the high schoolers because you guys are more like influenced with music. And I feel like it gives off like a, like a certain frequency that you would feel, I can't explain it, but these music will kind of make me angry. Like I would go to school and be like, okay, like I'll listen to drill or like be love and be like, okay, like I'm ready to fight bitches or like, or like don't try to like listen. I can't explain it, but you know what I mean. Like I would have this mindset, like so it would kind of make me like I was always a good person, but the frequency of the music out and, and the outside of myself, I would always look mad. Like I would, I would like insert videos of how I used to act and like used to kind of like bring like it would kind of like amp me up. So I say like listen to music, like listen to you know I listen to like Little Sims or like songs that would like boost your frequency that you would always feel happy or like your mindset would be a little more differently. Maybe listen to podcasts or you know I was trying to listen to songs that would try to like elevate me. If you know what I mean, like songs that would you know like real life shit. If you know what I mean. So I say that do things that make you happy. You know don't stress about losing weight. Like I was always stressing about losing weight. That used to make me so upset and be like, oh, I'm so fat, I'm so ugly. But you know, that time will pass. But you know, I got to touch for you guys, so I will help you guys to lose weight. So don't even worry about that. So that's tip two. Tip three. Um, tip three. Definitely, most important thing. Get closer to God. Definitely get closer to God. Um. Fasting. Fasting maybe like once a month. I try to do that maybe like every full moon. Or, you know, just give your, your life to God, you know, like sacrifice something. Because if you can sacrifice something to Him, He will give you something in return. Because it's like everything is about sacrifice nowadays. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. But yeah, I say sacrifice, you know, pray, give, show gratitude, you know, every day. You know, thank God you're living. Thank God your parents are alive. Thank God your siblings are alive. If you have siblings, thank God, grandma, aunt, auntie, uncle, grandpa, grandma. Thank, 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 just thank God that you have all your body parts. Thank God you're moving. Thank God you're, even if you're alive, thank God you're, you have hair in your hand. You have clothes on your, on, your, on your back. A house to live somewhere because it's like, you got to be grateful because he would definitely Cause I feel like I wouldn't even be here today. Like I wouldn't even look like this if I would never, if I never sacrificed anything. Like I would always fast. And then also, if you want something in life, so just say you want to be a bad bitch, right? Cause I was ugly. As, I was. I'm gonna say ugly, but I was the ugly duckling, honestly. 
But I can just chat all day, guys. Sacrifice to God will make you sacrifice in anything. It will help you lose weight. You just, your mindset would just be like so different. So I would definitely say get closer to God. I wouldn't say like, I wouldn't say that in my preference that I actually sit down and study. Because I'm Jewish, so I wouldn't sit down and study the Torah or, but you can though. That's that's on you. That's anything personal, any personal thing that could be on you. But just like sacrifice something. I always tell people to sacrifice something. Either your hunger, maybe if you're an alcoholic, maybe tell God that you would not drink for like two months or like like I remember I made a sacrifice. Like I said, I'll fast because I love food. Like I just love food. So I was like, okay, like if you help me lose weight, I would sacrifice. I would fast once a month for like seven months straight. And then when I got there, I was like, okay, I have to do it because if I don't do it, then I, maybe God will probably do something that's like really bad. So I'll definitely say get closer to God for sure. Tip number five, that's probably the last thing was when we talking about mentality. Tip number five, I'll definitely say, that's so stupid, but I'll definitely say, um, it may sound stupid to you guys, but start acting delusional. Maybe I, I probably have videos of like me, like trying to play like, I used to go and I used to be this runner. It's Sunday, and yesterday I had my cheat meal. So now I'm gonna go pick up my sister from dance. So I'll catch you guys later. I used to go jog, and I was that girl, you know. I would definitely say, definitely act delusional because growing up, I would definitely like how society would say it for like black girls, like ghetto, quote unquote ghetto. I used to be obsessed with Dance Mom, so I would always mimic, I was obsessed with Chloe, so I would always mimic, don't be too delusional in a sense, it's like, you know, like maybe not some celebrities like Ariana Grande would have like, would have like copiers, like I want to say don't be a copycat, but like just be delusional in a sense, like just try to make it within you, but be inspired by like other people and just like try to, you know, have that energy towards you, you know what I mean? So I'll definitely say, definitely act delusional. So whatever you want to be in life, you want to be that bitch. I mean, don't go out there and be like, hey, man. no, no, like just like, just be that bitch. Like just get your nails done, you know, um, pamper yourself, um, treat yourself sometimes, you know? So I'll definitely say that. And that's about it. Like if you're talking about mentality wise, cause like I would say mentality is the first thing, first thing. So mentality shows within, mentality shows your outer cover because it, it shows your soul. You know what I mean? Because your soul kind of radiates out of your body. Because if you're not mentally okay, doesn't matter. Like you can't really glow up if you're not really gonna mentally be there. Oh, and no, that's physical. So yeah, that's about it. Okay, so now we on to the physical. Because physical, let's get physical. I think that's what like most people want to get into. Though, but I'm definitely saying mentality is the key to anything. Like physical is nothing because you can have BBLs, you can do shit with your face and. Be pretty, but like you, you're not radiating bad bitch energy. You're not radiating like soft girl. Um, physical, definitely. I'll say start eating better. Um, growing up, I used to think that this mentality as in like if I don't eat a lot, like I would do, I would be skinny. So like in a sense, is like I would probably like get up in the morning, don't eat breakfast, and then like the first thing I probably have is like a small bag of like Cheetos, and then maybe like three hours in, I'll probably get like school lunch, and then like. I'll come home, then I'll get like a something from the deli, like a cupcake, and then like I'll have dinner. So it's like in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, like I'm eating so small, but like at the same time, I'm eating like really like a lot of calories, because like these little cupcakes, these little lunches and stuff, it'd be all 500 calories, 600 calories, and like I don't even know it. I'm still hungry, and I'm just like, you know. So and like it's sugar, like and like most of the time, I'm, I'm not really eating like protein. I'm more eating like sugar and stuff. So it's like. I'll definitely say for a tip for you guys, if you guys are going to college or school, so because I know that they have like lunches or buffets and stuff. I'll definitely say don't stay away from the buffets though. It just what you're eating on top of it. So it's like try to stay away from buying like tackies or like snacks. Like snacks I feel like is what makes people gain weight or like whatever. Like especially when you're in high school or college. It's like you wanna see you see the vending machine, you wanna buy a snack or like Try not to buy snacks. Stay away from sugar. Definitely stay away from sugar. I'll definitely say just stay on the buffet diet. Stay, stay on the school lunch diet. I'll definitely say when you get up in the morning, have a nice breakfast. You know, like 
some eggs, turkey bacon with a sandwich, or you can go to the deli too. You can go to the deli, buy yourself like a little sandwich. But I'll definitely say I'll get more into losing weight, like in my other video. But like, I'm just trying to give you guys some tips. And like school lunch, you know, after that you can have your school lunch because it's like it has like different varieties, like you know, like mashed potatoes or you know, so you can just pick up that and then dinner, same thing. You know, just have try your best to have food. Stay away from the snacks, stay away from the ice cream, from the alcohol. That's what makes you guys gain weight or like Red Bull and you know those big foods or like protein bars and I'm not I'm not discrediting protein bars but like I got caught up with the protein bars in my real life, so definitely that. Um so I will definitely say yeah, start eating better, drinking water, a lot of water, stay away from juice if you can. Okay, well, the next thing is strength training. Um, I think anybody can fucking like you don't even need a gym like that's one thing that I really I wish I knew when I grew up like when I was growing up you don't need a gym so I'm, I'm more more targeting the maybe the low income students than I'm targeting the high school students because you probably need to be 18 to go to a gym or you might not even have time to go to a gym because you have school work and stuff so I'll definitely say um, get yourself some dumbbells just get yourself some dumbbells get yourself a five pound weight 10 pound weight and a 15 pound weight start from there it's 5 10 and 15 because 5 you probably need it for your upper body because your upper body might be a little weak and your 15 might be for your legs because your legs are a little bit more stronger but i'll definitely say make time to lift weights i'll probably insert some videos that i can put it in the link like in the bottom of the caption of my or whatever whatever you say but I'll definitely say lift weights, dumbbells is crucial, strength training is crucial because like as you grow older you start losing muscle and that's what turns into fat and then you start to look weak and yeah. So I'll definitely say strength training, strength training, everything but I will show you and I will even post videos about that too so and if you guys can follow me on Instagram it's, it's at Asia, so you guys can definitely do that for sure and I post videos and like what to do but it's more like gym videos but I want to try to start doing like home videos so I'm gonna buy a dumbbell for you guys so you guys can follow along so it'll be like a little bit more easier for you guys you know but the first thing starts strength training like it doesn't matter like just ask your mom to buy yourself like a little dumbbell like it's only like maybe go to five below like something something cheap something cheap girl but you don't need all that extra gym shit if you know what I mean like especially if you're young like you could, you could easily Build that muscle fast with just like a simple, like a simple dumbbell. Um, next one, definitely. I like. I'm not trying to like. I'm black, but I'm not really trying to like. I'm gonna be real. Like, I'm gonna be real with this fucking app. Cause like, I'm not trying to target the black girls, but you know, like I'll probably say, guys. Number one tip, tip. I don't know what tip I am in right now. Tip number three, go natural. Please, please, black girls especially, like if you, if you guys want to glow up, go natural because like, and when I mean natural, like I'm not saying like go natural in the sense don't wear makeup or don't wear like, you know, wigs and because like this what I have right now is a wig, but like when I mean go natural is like try to stay away from like lace fronts and straight wigs and I'm not saying like you can, but like maybe on special occasions, like we're gonna have to keep it real with each other because like I've been there. I've been there. So stay away from the lace fronts. Like the lace fronts, it's cute on social media, but or maybe cute for like the first maybe like three days, but then after that it kinda like and I don't know, it just doesn't like you look good but you you kinda look like the average if you know what I mean. Like just leave that for like I'm just saying like just you can do it for like special occasions like you know for prom and stuff but like to wear it as an everyday use is like it kind of dims your light a little bit I'm not gonna lie so I'll definitely say like get wigs that would like that looks a little bit more natural like this like I could I, I could also link that in the below I can link this below um, start wearing synthetic hair like synthetic hair I think people really bring that down. Like with synthetic hair, yes. With long hair, yes, you I feel like you can get human hair, but synthetic hair, I get synthetic hair for my bones. Um just try to rock your natural look because it just makes you more like it stand it makes you stand out more when you have natural like natural just better. 
stay away from that. Especially when you're, if you're in high school, like I really don't get it. In high school, I was I was like that too. Like, what's the point of eyelashes? Like, why are you wearing eyelashes, really? Maybe you can you can get eyelashes if you want to enhance your look. Like, I'm not saying that don't stay away from eyelashes, but I mean like those big bold ones that like come on. Like you go to school, sis. You just you just gonna write down, take notes, stare at the teacher for like hours. Cause like and like really like who are you really trying to impress? Like I'm not gonna go like cause them niggas is not they not it. You know what I mean? It's like they're I mean they're cute. Like I'm not saying like don't run after them, but like nine out of ten times those guys that you running after like after high school, like they just some bum on the street, you know. Just saying. Niggas ain't shit. Niggas ain't shit. Start there. So start focusing on yourself. So who are you looking cute for, really? So I was like, I feel like just, you know, a little mascara, if you could see it in my eyes. A little lip gloss. Get, like, and I think, that's, mainly hair is like the number one thing for sure. So stay away from lace fronts. Like get something like a nice afro. Like that would definitely, like I'm telling you, like people might clown me in high school. Like I'm more like trying to target the high schoolers because like that's when I feel like more people, like most people get like depressed or like they want to like change and stuff. Like, don't make those music, like, you know, Sexy Red, or like, Ari the Dawn, and Jada Wada, with the wigs. It's like, they have money, like, you gotta be real, like, they have money that they can afford to touch up, like, every day. But, you guys don't. So, I mean, if you can, then, like, that's on you. Like, if you couldn't have the money and expensive wigs, thousand dollar wigs that you can put on your head nice and laid. And, but let's be real, like, y'all ain't getting that, so. Get something like this, save up your money, a little $200 like this. They got, we got Klarna and pay later, and I have pay later. So it's like every month you just throw in a little 50. And this can last you for like, I've been wearing, I've been wearing this for like two months now, and it's like really nice. No friends. Nice. Cause like, I be spending like $500 on like, fucking wigs like those straight human wigs and it only lasts for like two weeks or like a week that if so like and then this is lasting like two months and it's going like i'm i'm stretching that shit i'm like why i'm stretching that shit maybe for like six months so yeah um so i'll definitely say try to go natural as possible anyways your skin tone if you have long hair you know you can get little extensions you know Something that will like maybe make your hair fuller, but like just try to best you st to keep your natural state, if you know what I mean. Like don't try to do this be those bizarre ass colors and that would just like, cause like I'm telling you, on social media it looks really nice, like but on, in person, like I just be looking at these people and I'm just like, girl, like do you see like how you step out? Like that that was me. Like I'm, again, that was me. I would insert some pictures. I was wearing some blonde and pink. But girl, I'm just on social media, Nicki Minaj and them, they look good, but remember, they got the, the, the right equipment and quality that could make them look. But I'm like, 99% like of, of the time, see those celebrities in, in person, like you might be like, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. So I'll definitely say that. But last but not least, I always say, take up sunlight. Fuck the, di the vitamin D pills. Fuck the vitamin D pills. I don't know, like, vitamin, like, stay away from pills, like, honestly. But I'll definitely say, like, take up sunlight, doesn't matter what race you are, but I'll definitely say if you're black, though, your skin tone, you guys can stay in the sun for, you know, like, 30 minutes for an hour. Like, I feel like you guys can get an efficient amount of vitamin D from the sun because it just clears up your skin and it just makes you more glow. But I feel like for the black people, we don't stay in the sun for so long, so, like, for our skin tone, the darker you are, the more you gotta stay in the sun. So I try my best to stay in the sun for like two hours, three hours, just like bathing in it because it's like the sun, it, it we're, our skin is just made for the sun. So like we have to inhale it as much as we can. And we, and like if we're living in the U.S., all year round is always winter. The sun is really never really out. So it's like in the summer, I try your best to bathe in it. Matter of fact, school starts in a month. You could do that in a month. In a month, just lie down and just stare at the sun if you can. Don't stare at it though, but just like chill. Or maybe you just walk around or go for runs or go for walks and just read a book, some. Just stay in the school outside. I know it's hot, but eventually like your body will get accustomed to the heat and you just won't 
like it, it won't affect you because like I remember like growing up I used to hate summer I used to be like oh like it's dry it's, it drags me I just sweat a lot but now I try my best to like get you know my condition my condition myself to like take up the heat so now it's like I'm not I could wear a long sleeve but guys it's like fucking 86 degrees and I'm wearing a long sleeve look and I'm not all that hot that I thought I was like back in the day so I'll definitely say that but yeah that's about it, I would say, but with glowing up. I'm sorry for the bad quality, guys. It was, I don't really have, like, room at my house to, like, record. Like, I don't have the privacy, so I try my best to, like, go outside. And I know the quality is probably bad, but I'm, like, if you guys know where I am, I'm, like, in the mall. I know it's funny, like, I'm really in the mall recording. But somehow I have, like, I just found this place, and I'm just, like, really happy, so... I'm sorry for the bad quality, I'll try my best to have like better quality. It's raining outside, I would have done it outside for better scenery, but right now we're just talking real shit, not about you know fucking quality, and aesthetic. I know that's the way you how you usually get the views, but you guys can follow all these tips. I feel like we can get that down in a month. But I'll definitely say first things first, switch your mentality because mentality is not going to get you anywhere if you're going to keep hanging out with your friends, with those type of friends that don't want to do shit with their lives, just want to fucking party, hang out with guys, and they just bring you down, nine out of ten times they're probably talking shit behind your back. So I just feel like, you know, if you have the space at home, just buy some little dumbbells. Guys, I was living in a shelter. And I still made, and I don't care, I was, I was exiling in front of my mom, I was just like, but I, I feel like there's no excuses, like, unless if you're like really like on the streets, then like I'll probably say okay, but there's no excuses, really. Like if you want it, you're gonna get it, like there's really no excuse at this point, no excuses. And yeah, I, I say thank you for joining me in this video, I have some errands to run for my mom, so. Hopefully, I can see you guys in the next video. I'll try my best to be a little more active, but thanks for coming for my TED Talk. I love you guys. Bye-bye.